chickpea is a very important pulse crop that grows as a seed of a plant named Cicer aerietinum in the Fabaceae family. This light brown colored pulse is considered to be a good source of protein. Chickpea is used as an edible seed and is also used for making flour throughout the globe. Having a capacity to stand in drought conditions, this crop grows well even in water constrained areas. This crop doesn't have the requirement of being fed with nitrogen fertilizers since it has rhizobial nodules to fix atmospheric nitrogen. The vernacular names are in binomial nomenclature. There are two spellings. One is Caesar aerietinum. The second one is Caesar aerientinum. The chickpea or chickpea gram, Bengal gram, garbanzo bean, Egyptian bean are some of the synonyms. Gram flour is called besan. It is called Channa in Hindi, Chole in Punjabi. In South Indian languages, it is called Kadale Kannada, Kadala Malayalam, Kotu Kadalai Tamil, Senegalu in Telugu. Origin Chickpea is an ancient crop that originated even before 10,000 BCE when it was used by the hunter gatherer societies for eating and sustaining their communities. The regions of Turkey and the Asian city of Jericho domesticated this crop around 7500 BCE, where its wild progenitor Caesar reticulatum existed. Chickpea was brought to the Western Europe and was known in many areas in the Bronze Age. Most popularly in Italy and Greece. Those people consumed chickpea in various forms like roasted, as snacks, raw, carbonized or in broth. Many past writings have been also found in indicating the uses and importance of chickpeas both as medicinal and as food crop. Geographic Distribution The world cultivation of chickpea in 2016-17 was about 36.640 million acres of which India alone had 26.83 million acres amounting to 73% of the total area. During the same period, the world chickpea production was about 13.342 million metric tons of which India's contribution was 9.04 million metric tons. Thus, India is the largest chickpea producing country with 68% of the world production. Other major countries are Australia with 6%, Pakistan 4%, Turkey 4%, Mexico 2% and Canada, United States, Argentina, Morocco, Spain with less than 1% contributions each. The desi type chickpea contribute to around 80% and the kabuli type around 20% of the total production. The major producing countries of chickpea are India, Pakistan, Turkey, Iran, Myanmar, Ethiopia, Mexico, Australia, Syria, Spain, Canada, United States, Bangladesh, Algeria and Ethiopia. Of these countries, India, Pakistan, Myanmar, Australia and Bangladesh produce mainly desi type chickpeas. The other countries cultivate mainly the Kabuli type chickpeas. Economic Importance Chickpea is a highly nutritious pulse and ranks third in the list of the most important food legumes that are cultivated throughout the world. Gram is the most important pulse crop in India. Chickpea 
occupies about 38% of the area under pulses and contributes about 50% of the total pulse production of India. It is used for human consumption as well as fodder for feeding to the animals. It is eaten both whole gram, fried or boiled and salted or more generally in the form of split pulse which is cooked and eaten. Both husks and bits of dal are valuable cattle field. Fresh green leaves are used as vegetable. Shaf chickpea is an excellent fodder for cattle. The grains are also used as vegetable. Chickpea flour, that is basin, is used in preparation of various types of sweets. The famous Mysore Pak and Sohan Papdi is made from basin. Chickpea is considered to have medicinal properties and it is used for blood purification. Chickpea contains 21.1% protein, 61.5% carbohydrates, 4.5% fat. It is rich in calcium, iron and niacin. Soil and climatic requirement. Soil and its preparation. Gram is grown practically on any variety of soil types ranging from very light to heavy ones. In North India, it is cultivated on sandy loam to clay loam soils whereas in South on Deccan Plateau and Central India or Maharashtra, gram is raised on black cotton soils. The clay loams are the best. The optimum soil pH varies from 5.7 to 7.2. Gram needs cloudy and rough seed bed for good aeration in root zone. Hence, a little land preparation is required. Desired seed bed may be obtained by a deep lowing followed by two harrowings. In Daira Highlands, one plowing by country plow brings about desired condition of sowing of the crop. A deep summer flowing is essential for higher retention of moisture in soils where the crop is grown on residual soil moisture as in Haveli system of Madhya Pradesh. Climatic requirements Chickpeas requiring cool climate for growth and high temperature for maturity are grown between 10 to 32 degree north latitude in the country in the winter season. However, it is a crop of spring season beyond the subcontinent. The crop performs better at 24 to 32 degree centigrade temperature. Pot setting and seed filling are curtailed both at low less than 5 degree centigrade and high more than 30 degree centigrade temperatures. Germination and pollination are adversely affected at low temperatures. It cannot tolerate frost. This crop is deep rooted system can be grown on residual soil moisture in areas with 600 to 1000 mm annual rainfall. Heavy rains at germination and flowering are detrimental to the crop. Varieties the Indian gram have been classified into two broad groups. Desi or brown gram, Sizer Eriatinum L. In this group, the color of the seed ranges from yellow to dark brown. Seed is usually small. It is the most widely grown group. Plants are small with good branching ability. The chromosome number is 2n equals 14. The second group is Kabuli or white gram, Sizer Kabulium. In this group, the color of the seed is usually white. Grains are bold and attractive. Yield potential of this group is poor as compared to desi or brown gram. Plants are generally taller than the desi gram and stand more or less erect. The chromosome number is 2n equals 
16. High yielding varieties of chickpea recommended for general cultivation in different states are as follows. Andhra Pradesh, ICCV2, ICCV37, ICCV4, ICCV10. Assam, KWR108, BG256, L550, KPG59. Gujarat, PUSA319, Vijay, ICCV4, PUSA240, GG1, PUSA1053. Karnataka, BDN93, ICCV10, ICCV2, Annegiri1. Punjab, PBG1, GNG469, Haryana Channa 1, Gaurav L550, C235, G543, Pusa 1053, GPEF 2, Tamil Nadu, ICCV10, BDN93, CO3, CO4, Cultural Practices and Yield, Seed Rate and Spacing. The seed rate varies from 80 to 100 in Kabuli and 50 to 70 kgs per hectare in desi chickpeas. Under late zone conditions, the seed rate may be increased by 25 to 40 percent. Kabuli types are sown in rows 45 cm apart, while desi types and late zone chickpeas are sown in 30 cm rows. The plant to plant spacing varies from 10 to 12 centimeters. Seed treatment. Seed should be treated with agrosan GN or TRAM at 2.5 gram per kg seed to protect against seed borne diseases. Seed should be inoculated with rhizobium and phosphate solubilizing bacteria. Time of sowing. The optimum time of sowing vary from mid October to mid November. Rain fed crop should be sown at the earliest in October. Under irrigated conditions, second fortnight is the best. Method of sowing Broadcasting of seeds should be avoided, especially under rain fed conditions. The seeds should be sown in furrows behind the country plow. But the best method is to drill the seeds either by seed drill at the depth of 8 to 10 cm under irrigated conditions. Shallow sowing at the depth of 5 to 6 cm is recommended. Manures and fertilizers. Chickpea removes about 122 kgs of primary 67.3 N, 6.6 P, 48 K, 34.7 kgs of secondary that's 18.7 calcium, 7.3 magnesium, plus 8.7 sulfur, and 1000 gram of micronutrients per hectare. 868 iron, 70 manganese, 38 zinc, plus 11.3 copper, plus 1.5 molybdenum for every ton of grain produced from the soil. Of these, the deficiency of N, P, F, E, B and S was found to be limiting yield to the tune of N 10 percent, P 29 to 45 percent, iron 22 to 90 percent, boron 100 percent and sulfur 16 to 30 percent. Being a legume, it fixes atmospheric nitrogen in association with mesorhizobium cesare in order to meet the initial nitrogen requirement of the crop between exhaust of seed nitrogen and effective nodule formation. A starter dose of 20 kgs of nitrogen is applied at the time of sowing. However, the crop may require high dose of nitrogen about 40 kg per hectare when grown after rice, 
मेज जो वार एंड अंडर लेट सोन दैट इज आफ्टर डिसम्बर कंडीशन द चिक पी ग्रोन आफ्टर पोटेटो एंड इंटर क्राफ्ट इन आटम शुगर केन वुड नॉट रिक्वायर स्टार्टर डोज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस इज द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल न्यूट्रियट लिमिटिंग चिक पी प्रोडक्शन इन जनरल काबोली टाइप्स रिक्वायर मोर फॉस्फोरस फर्टिलाइजर दैन देसी चिक पीस फर्दर द क्राप रिस्पॉन्स टू पी फर्टिलाइजेशन आर ग्रेटर इन वट इज सॉल दैट इज ब्लैक सॉइल दैन आल्फी सॉल दैट इज रेड सॉइल ड्यू टू हायर वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी द क्राप रिक्वायर्स जीरो थर्टी एंड सिक्सटी के जीस ऑफ फॉस्फरस पेंटाऑक्साइड पर हेक्टेयर इन सॉइल विद अवेलेबल पी ऑफ मोर दैन ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड लेस दैन फिफ्टीन रेस्पेक्टिवली इन इंडिया प्लेसमेंट ऑफ पी फर्टिलाइजर फाइव सेंटीमीटर बिलो द सॉइल इज बेटर दैन ब्रॉडकास्ट एप्लीकेशन वाटर मैनेजमेंट ग्राम इज मोस्टली ग्रोन एज ए रेन फेड क्रॉप एंड इज केपेबल ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्टिंग मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम डीपर लेयर्स मोस्ट ऑफ इट्स रूट्स आर यूजली कन्फाइंड विद अपर टू फीट ऑफ द सॉइल हाव एवर वेयर इरीगेशन फेसिलिटीज आर अवेलेबल वन प्री सोइंग इरीगेशन मे बी गिवन फॉर प्रॉपर जमीनेशन एंड बेटर क्रॉप ग्रोथ इन एबजेंस ऑफ विंटर रेन्स वन इरीगेशन ईच एट प्री फ्लावरिंग एंड पॉट डेवलपिंग स्टेज मे बी गिवन इन नो केस फर्स्ट इरीगेशन should be given earlier than 4 weeks after sowing no irrigation should be given at flowering time of crop the crop should always be given light irrigation of 50 to 60 mm because heavy irrigation is harmful to the crop the water requirement of the crop varies from 250 to 400 mm at present 30.6% of the total chickpea acreage of the country is under irrigation weed control gram being a dwarf staged crop suffers severely by weed infestation about 60 species of weed infest chickpea field uncontrolled weeds may limit chickpea yields by 40 to 87% the initial two months period is critical for crop weed competition the best time for weeding and hoe is between 25 to 30 days after sowing if the weeds persist after first weeding another weeding should be done at about 60 days after sowing weeds can also be controlled effectively by the herbicides for which basalin at 1 kg per hectare should be used as pre-plant incorporation pests and disease management biodiversity is a key component in keeping pest population below etl plant seedlings of trees like neem babul pongam sesbenia glircidia etc on the farm bunds to get large quantity of leaf litter planting trap crops like marigold and hibiscus subdarifa that is lalambari helps in keeping pest population below economic threshold limit to attract spiders and ants that predate on larvae of insects mix 4 kg jaggery with 200 liter of water and spray on one acre soil surface about 20 bird perches per acre are to be installed to attract birds that predate on pets yellow rice 1 kg rice cooked with turmeric powder can be kept on or near perches to attract predatory birds control measures if the pets exceeds etl following control measures can be adopted one or two sprays of 5% that is 50 g crushed neem seed per liter of water neem seed kernel extract nske at an interval of 
15 days. To make 5% ENSKE, take 50 gram of neem seed kernel, grind the kernel gently to make powder, soak the kernel powder in 1 liter of water overnight, or next morning stir the mixture well till it becomes milky white, filter through double layered muslin cloth. Can also add 1% detergent powder. Important insect pets. Important insect pets of Bengal gram include gram caterpillar, helicoverpa armigera, and tobacco caterpillar, spodaptera exigua. Gram caterpillar, helicoverpa armigera. It eats away flowers and pods. Adult keeps one egg, one each flower or pod. The caterpillar that emerges from each egg feeds on that flower or bores into the pod and feeds on seed. As control measure, grow intercrops such as mustard, albium 4 to 8, kranti or sita, coriander, sindhu, sadhana or swati varieties. Tobacco caterpillar, Spodoptera exigua. This pest damages the crop in initial stages. It damages the bud between first two leaves by scratching the green epidermis. It also feeds on leaves during growth period. For control, spray at 2.5 ml chloripyrifos or 2 ml phenolphos 25 EC or 1 gram acephate or 1 ml diflobenzuran per liter of water. 200 liter spray solution per acre is required. Total 2 to 3 sprays at 10 to 15 days interval are required. Change chemical each time. Important diseases. The important diseases are wilt and root rot. Wilt. During early stages, affected plants die quickly. During early growth, leaves dry up first, followed by death of plant later. Treat with 2.5 gram tiram, captan, or bendazine per kg of seed and then sow. Grow resistant varieties like Kranti, ICCC37, Sweta, ICCV2 and ICCV10. Susceptible varieties should not be grown continuously for 3 to 4 years in the same field. Crop rotation and seed treatment is essential. Root rot. Disease occurs when there is deficit of moisture and if temperature is about 30 degrees centigrade. Seed treatment is essential. Treat seed with 2.5 gram theram, captan, carbendazine per kg of seed and then so grow resistant varieties like ICCB10. Cropping systems. Gram is grown mixed with wheat, barley, rapeseed and mustard crop. It is grown mixed with thoria and tarai region. The promising intercropping system in different parts of the country are chickpea plus mustard with 6 is to 1 rare row ratio, chickpea plus wheat in 2 is to 1 row ratio, chickpea plus linseed with 3 is to 1, chickpea plus safflower 3 is to 1, chickpea plus atom sugar cane with 2 is to 1 row ratio. Gram is grown after the harvest of carved crops like paddy, maize, sorghum, pearl millet, etc. Gram in rotation with several crops also helps in controlling soil borne diseases. The most common rotations are paddy gram in irrigated lowland, pearl millet gram in irrigated uplands, sorghum gram in irrigated uplands, maize gram in irrigated upland and lowlands, and 
cotton, gram in rain fed upland. Harvesting and threshing. The maturity period of desi type of chickpea is about 95 to 105 days and of kabuli type of chickpea is 100 to 110 days. Harvesting of the plant is done when its leaves start drying and shedding and can be done directly or with the help of a harvester. In India, it is harvested in February, March and April. Plants are either plucked out by hand or cut with sickle. The crop is allowed to dry in sun on threshing floor for about 5 to 6 days. Thereafter, threshing is done either by beating the plant with stick or by trampling by bullocks. Yield A well-managed desi chickpea crop yields about 2 to 2.5 metric tons of grain per hectare, while kabuli type yields 2.5 to 3 metric tons per hectare under irrigated conditions. Under rain-fed conditions, the crop yield are generally 30 to 50 percent of the irrigated crop. Summary Chickpea is a very important pulse crop. Chickpea is used as an edible seed and is also used for making flour throughout the globe. In binomial nomenclature, there are two spellings variants Caesar Arietinum and Caesar Arientinum. It is called Chenna in Hindi and Chole in Punjabi, Kadala in Kannada, Kadala in Malayalam, Kot Kadala in Tamil, Sanagalu in Telugu. The Indian grams have been classified into two broader groups, Desi or brown gram, Caesar Arietinum L. In this group, the color of the seed ranges from yellow to dark brown. Seed is usually small. It is the most widely grown groups. Chromosome number is 2n equals 14. The second variety is Kabuli or white gram, Caesar Kabulian. In this group, the color of the seed is usually white. Grains are bold and attractive. Yield potential of this group is poor as compared to desi. Plants are generally taller than the desi gram and stand more or less erect. The chromosome number is 2n equals 16. Chickpea is an ancient crop that originated even before 10,000 BCE in the regions of Turkey and the ancient city of Jericho. Annual world cultivation of chickpea is about 36.640 million acres of which India alone has 26.583 million acres amounting to 73% of the total area. The world chickpea production is about 13.342 million metric tons, of which India's contribution is 9.04 million metric tons. A well-managed desi chickpea crop yields about 2 to 2.5 metric ton of grains per hectare, while kabuli type yields 2.5 to 3 metric tons per hectare under irrigated conditions. Under rainfed conditions, the crop yields are generally 30 to 50 percent of the irrigated crop. Thank you.